Is this contraceptive patch for everyone? The answer is no. If you have any risk of heart attack or stroke or blood clot, then this might not be for you. What's up beautiful people? Welcome to another exciting episode of New Mom with Dr. O. You already know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty excited today because today is the finale, the grand finale of the contraception series. Yeah, we'll be talking about different types of contraceptives and I'm finally ending today with... Can you guess? Mm -hmm. You guessed right because you cheated. You saw it in the thumbnail. Yeah, so we're talking about the contraceptive patch today yeah so basically for those of you who don't want an IE CD if you don't want to pop pills down your mouth all the time if you don't want injection if you don't want an implant because you don't want anybody cutting your skin injections because you don't like needles or pills because you don't like drugs and IE CD because you just don't fancy anything being inside of you for that long then I have good news for you it's something called the contraceptive patch and if you're like my daughter that is a plaster addict eh? she can have small cut on her hand like literally not a cut a minute squad that you can only see with the microscope she'll tell you to put plaster on it so if you're like her by any chance then you love the patch because it's pretty much like putting a plaster on your hand so basically the patch is a form of contraception that is small it looks similar to a plaster all you just need to do is stick it on your skin so any skin surface you can stick it on your upper arm you can stick it on your buttocks you can stick it on your lower abdomen right and it prevents pregnancy so someone is wondering how is that possible well it contains hormones right estrogen and progestin hormones right which it releases into your bloodstream through the skin of course it releases it into your bloodstream right and prevents pregnancy so how does it prevent pregnancy just similar to the other hormonal forms of contraception by the way this is another hormonal form of contraception so just similar to the other hormonal forms of contraception this one what it does is to prevent ovulation that means it's preventing the release of eggs from the ovary so if there's no egg release then there will be nothing for the sperm to fertilize but it doesn't just stop there it also thickens the cervical mucus so that sperm is not able to easily swim through and come and fertilize the egg if the egg is too stubborn and doesn't heal right so it's a double-edged sword it can protect you from pregnancy on both sides on the side of the sperm trying to enter and on the side of the egg that is trying to be released right so yeah double sure that hmm, i'm not going to get pregnant although there's just tiny risk of pregnancy even while using it but the risk is really small like every other contraceptive how do you use this patch so like I said before, it's easy to use. Good thing is you don't need to go to the doctor's office to put it on like all the other methods of contraception apart from the pills, right? But you need your doctor's prescription to get it. And when your doctor prescribes it for you, then you need to just apply the patch to any area of skin, like I said. And how it works is that you apply the patch every week for three weeks. So you apply the patch week one, right? Then the same day, you need to make sure that the same day, the following week, you are changing it and applying a new patch. So for example, if I start using the patch on Monday, next Monday, I'm going to change it and put a new patch. And then next Monday, I'm going to change it up to another new patch. So you do this for three weeks. Then in the fourth weeks, you don't wear any patch at all. So what's that for? That's for the withdrawal bleeding so that you can have your regular period. And then after that fourth week, week then you start a new cycle again. Week one, you put another patch. Week two, you put another patch like that, like that, like that. So, when you are doing that fourth week, remember it's just like a regular period and all that. So, is this contraceptive patch for everyone? The answer is no. If you have any risk of heart attack or stroke or blood clots, then this might not be for you, right? And another thing is sometimes, you know, because it's dealing with your skin, sometimes there's skin irritation. So, when you are applying the, a new patch every week, try to change the area of skin that you apply. So, if you put it here, change it here. If you put it there, change it to the other arm. So, reduce the occurrence of skin irritation. Just in case, you know, if the patch starts coming off or it's peeling and you're hustling to put it back and you see it's peeling back, then you might want to remove it and put a new one just because if it's not properly placed on your skin, then it, it might not be giving you the right protection from pregnancy. So don't go and carry cell tape and sell tape it. They'll use plaster to hold it then No. Once it's already starting to come off or if it's stuck to another surface and things are already on the sticky surface, just get a new one. See, it's cheaper to buy a new one than to be buying pampas and formula feeds and all that. Don't say I didn't tell you so. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to click the like button, 
subscribe and share with anyone you think might need to see this like i always say being a new mom might be pretty overwhelming but your kids are totally worth it see you next week